Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 3rd to September 9th 2018 um, and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, all that you need to know is uh, my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you will find the full list of uh, my services and their prices as well. So that set aside, let's go to the uh, tarot spread. And uh, the first position of uh, the tarot reading, uh, it will be about the topic for you Sagittarius for the week. Then is uh, the uh, core of the situation there followed by the difficulties you have to face and you have to stand against and the last one is going to be regarding the guidance the tarot has for you for the uh, upcoming week so let's see what you have now that will be the seven of wands seven of wands one standing his ground and kind of like deflecting the incoming opposition now when it comes to the Seven of Wands, um, this card uh, could manifest in many ways, but definitely uh, it points to a, a week of uh, struggle in a certain sense. Now in the Handbook of Alistair Crowley, this card, uh, especially career-wise, is um, displayed or kind of like, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, observed, should I say, and explained uh, as a um, small issues that tend to snowball and become a, and escalate quite quickly and become rather unbearable difficulties. However, that could be overcome when you are quite decisive about those who are causing those small issues at the start and deflect their attacks or guard your boundary. So that being said, when we do have that card, you should not allow anybody to um, infiltrate your project into your career, nor to tell you what to do into your relationship as well, you know, or uh, in any way, someone to, you should not allow anybody to influence your deeds and to swirl them into a unknown direction, direction that you consciously would not want to take. This card is associated as well with um, a test, either outwardly, as we spoke right now, or inwardly test. Maybe uh, it, could be, it could be related, what I'm trying to say here is that it could be related with you um, struggling to um, push yourself to do something because either that something is aggravating, it's annoying, or simply you don't see a point behind it, but the rest is making you to do so, and you have to stand your ground here, have a strong spine, you know, a backbone, and um, <clears throat> kind of deflect or resist the opposition, should I say that way. So this week, you Sagittarius has to be rather um, quite, uh, how can I place it, <clears throat> you have to be quite determined and uh, whatever intentions you do have, uh, they need to be supported with the right convictions uh, here because otherwise it will be easy for that alien interference or infiltration to um, <clears throat> exert it its uh, influence upon your uh, upon your deeds and traverse them into something that you would rather not want to experience and the core of the situation for that it is the emperor card so this card falls as a um, <clears throat> a card where uh, how can I place it a, a, <laughs> A card where someone is trying to establish control upon you and upon your um, enterprises and undertakings. It is uh, why this is happening literally. So the Emperor card as it sits for stability and as it sits for a, a good performance, your good performance, 
this card here as the core of the situation points that you are capable to meet the ends of someone else's goal and that someone else may try to you know info infiltrate your work right now so you can give more devotion to their goal uh, that is very uh, commonly uh, met into um, into career environment for example where co-workers are constantly trying to take advantage you know of your kindness let's say or uh, <clears throat> of your abilities as well trying to do their surreptitious job or surreptitious intentions here just so they can confuse you or they are not minding their own business here because they kind of have it sorted out trying to um, place themselves one step in front of you here proving themselves seemingly more capable than you are you know so basically this um, <clears throat> This card here, the Emperor, six for, sits for a, a foreign authority that will try to kind of subjugate your deeds, activities, enterprises, relationships, maybe. So, but again, as we said with the seven of with the seven of wands, the um, your ground um, can be protected. All right, but you have to recognize where the threat is coming from and react accordingly straight away instead of, you know, waiting it to pass away because with the seven of wands, it is unlikely that it's going to pass away. Just on the contrary, the more passive you, you are, uh, the more tenacious the opposition becomes or, yeah, the oppositions or those who are trying to, you know, to mess with your stuff and with your things. So the next card will be uh, the challenges in addition that you have to um, overcome here or what will serve you in a negative way here. We do have the page of cups so what will be difficult for you is to re-examine your position and to make a reassessment you know of yourself and of your approach maybe toward your undertaking or maybe toward the people who are trying to mess with your undertaking. The Page of Cups when it comes to the grand scheme of things it is about um, discovering the true nature of the grand scheme of things, of the grand picture because if that card falls into a, a challenging position into a negative one uh, it means that uh, there is something that you aren't seeing or rather like you are way too clinched into the minor details and for some reason, the uh, the big scheme, you know, the grand picture is eluding you. So uh, that car itself may kind of like sit for that you are baffled by those people who are trying to, you know, uh, exert influence and control upon you or upon your uh, deeds here and enterprises, you know, and the challenge will be for you to uh, examine that and to define it. Why? Because it will require from you to make a, a critical assessment toward yourself. Maybe, just maybe Sagittarius, you allowed them to do so back there in the past. You opened the door for them and now they are taking advantage of it. <clears throat> And uh, as soon as you do so, then you will be able to re-establish your positions, as I said, and you will be able to take A uh, measures accordingly against those uh, who are trying, you know, to establish control over you. So the best possible course of action here is a guidance card. This is going to be the Empress. And the Empress, first of all, sits for that you have to find yourself a comfortable spot, comfortable place, and comfortable environment before you prepare yourself uh, so you can prepare yourself for battle. I was about to say before you jump into battle. Very important is whenever you start feeling that it's not even hostility, you know, but oppression, should I say that way, it will be important to withdraw yourself from that particular activity so you can take a, a mature decision what to do next. And... Uh, as soon as the process, you know, of predicament starts to happen here, so you feel that those people were trying to control you in any way, it will be beneficial for you to kind of 
uh, capitalize on whatever benefits you are working upon to have right now so whatever you can consolidate it will be beneficial to do so before the actual struggle quote unquote it is not going to be struggle for some of you it's going to be very easy you can just you know stand for yourself and say just get the hell out of here you know <clears throat> for others it will it may not be that easy because uh, these people or that person here could uh, hold you with something you know but the thing is that you need to consolidate here before you jump into that battle upon everything that you can right now so it's kind of like gathering resources so you can use them when uh, the time comes right so that was uh, your weekly tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand has to say for you. As a uh, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Alright, so the first card that is going to be the bear, which sits for either resources or it sits for a support. Then we do have the sight, which depending on the next card um, will differ in... Uh, the sight basically cuts the next card and it, it reverses its, uh, its meaning. So, uh, for what it seems, that looks like of a uh, shortage of resources for either traveling or for either a, a new venture. It could also mean gambling here, that you are gambling resources uh, and the outcome is quite unknown. So, you have to be very careful when it comes to spending this week money, time, personal efforts as well as that goes with the reading also you know these people may try or that person may try to control your actions you know your intentions as well and your aims so that is also spending resources which are not in your benefit do not gamble whatever it takes <clears throat> at least according to the Lenormand cards so that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And again, in case you are uh, interested in a personal reading with me, all that you need to know about it is written down there below in the description of this video, um, which is my website. In it, <clears throat> you will find a full list of my services and the pricings for them. And uh, with that being said, this concludes our reading. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.